Hey everyone, my name is Bottletop Hornet and welcome to my first Minecraft Let's Play. Unfortunately, this video is going to have to start off a little different to what I was planning due to hard drive failure after I'd already recorded a couple of hours. But thankfully, I did have the replay mod running during that time and I have been able to grab a bunch of clips from the start of my little adventure, which will hopefully bring us up to speed with where I'm at. Then we can continue on from there. So with that being said, I hope you enjoy these few clips. I'll be back with you shortly once we've caught up to where I am currently. See you soon.
and welcome back. So that little montage turned into a slightly bigger montage than I intended, but I didn't really want to leave much out. There, there were so many things that I did in that time that I really wanted to show, like finding those villages. It all seemed sort of important as part of what I'd done at the start of this playthrough. Uh, as you saw, we did find some villages, we found some decent spots, some other interesting spots, and we did a little bit of work to this island. Uh, took down most of the trees, cleaned it up a bit so that we have a bit more of a, a clean slate to work with. Um, so as you can see over there, I have collected up some animals that were all sitting on this island. I also went out and collected some cows who were over in some boats over there. So I'm going to go grab those cows, we're going to put them in their little pen, and then I think I'm going to work out what I do from there after that. Perfect. So I should be able to make up a little bit more white carpet. We'll finish up this pen. Ah, I need a little bit more black. So I'm going to try and breed up the cows as quickly as I can. I do want to get as many books sorted as I can as soon as possible. As you can see, I do have 16 levels from a little bit of the exploring. I've also set up, I don't know whether you can quite see, a lot of sugarcane already growing. Uh, stuff that I collected while I was out exploring. Every time I saw something on a coastline or as I was walking past rivers, I grabbed as much as I could. So we have a decent supply growing quite quickly. So paper shouldn't be a problem. It's the leather that we're going to need a lot sooner than later. Uh, eventually I will do some mining. I've done a little bit of exploring down into here, but not too far, just to grab some iron. But I think what I'd like to do is go and find some more of the different tree variants. I have oak and, and birch, uh, and I think I did find some acacia saplings in one of those villages as well. I'd like to get the other three. Maybe I'll get lucky and find a jungle, I'm not sure. That way I can sort of have a supply and the ability to build up a supply and do some building on this island. I really like this area. So I did find this as I, a long time after starting the world, after I'd done a lot of exploring, I was coming back this way and I did notice that we have a ruined portal down here. And I think, I think it is all normal obsidian, which means that if we find a lava pool somewhere and grab a couple of buckets of, ooh, oops, Let's get out of that. If we grab a couple of buckets of lava, we should be able to actually convert this water to obsidian. And then all we would have to do is make a little bit of an air pocket and we can have a portal straight up without even having to get a diamond pickaxe or anything. I don't know if I really want to rush to kill the dragon, but we'll see how we go. I do like the, the more end game stuff. I, I like shulker boxes. I like having my elytra. So I am going to probably move towards that at a decent pace while also experimenting and, and building up this island. As you can see, I do have a decent supply of wood. Not so much this, I used most of that for different purposes, crafting up these chests and such. I also got some valuables from our exploration. These came from the two ruined portals, the one over that we have over there. And also at the very end of the montage, I did have a little clip of me finding one off in the desert somewhere. I can't exactly remember where, it might be that direction. Near where I got the cows. Another really good thing that we have is, since we spawned on the island that I believe I'm actually gonna turn into the main base, right here is the spawn point of the world. That means that if we have a compass with us, it doesn't matter where we are, it's gonna be really easy to find our way back here. I originally used this, which is the block that I spawned on as the, uh, the point that I thought I would be returning to, but when I got a compass, it, it did show that here was the place that our world spawn is. I don't know what direction to go. I remember that I went this way for the, the villages, so I think I might head over that direction. See whether we can find those trees. And then we can come back and start terraforming and maybe setting up a base. There we go. We have some spruce trees over here. That's a good start. We'll grab some of those, try and get some saplings so that we can take those back with us. And we'll keep looking for a dark oak forest. Just speed up the process a little bit. There we go. 
That's a good start. Okay. I'll chop down one more tree, try and get four. At least that way we can make a, a giant spruce tree and get a decent supply of wood really easily. And uh, we should get enough saplings back from that to continue growing more and more. Oh, there we go. Perfect. I want to try and get some enchantments as soon as possible. I really, I really like to have the enchantments on, on pickaxes at least. Hopefully we can get ourselves a, a fortune. Just a little bit more. Oh. <laughs> so I will continue on. I'm going to move through the night a little bit. I got a little bit of food. I might want to cook something soon. But we might be able to get some decent mob drops while we're we're moving along. Another abandoned abandoned? No, what are they called? Ruin portal. This is good. These chests are quite good for some decent valuables. I like the gold. I do know that I can mine that with this iron pick now. <laughs> I will not make the same mistake twice. Ooh, that's not bad. That'll be good for wearing a gold piece while we're in the uh, in the Nether. And we'll grab this gold block. Okay, we got it that time. That's good. Oh, look at that. Perfect. The timing on that was unreal. So we've got the dark oak. Didn't find a jungle, but we might explore a little bit further and see. See if we can find one. Are those two endermen? Oh, sh Whew. okay. Okay, I'm going to use the water here. You can wait. Wait there. No end of pearl. But that's okay. We're not in a rush. We're not speed running. We don't need end of pearl straight away. Nice. We need to see if we can get some of these saplings. That's the main goal. I don't think that we're going to find a jungle biome. They're very difficult to find most of the time. I usually have a lot of trouble finding them. But we should at least be able to get the these main ones. I don't usually build too much with jungle anyway. But it'd be nice to get some bamboo for some scaffolding. Do I go for another ender pearl? I think I do. Come on. The more I have at the start of the game, the easier it's going to be when I decide to go looking for the stronghold. I don't have to worry about trying to get trades in the nether or something like that. And I mean, this is pretty much the first night that I've... Yeah, you can just wait. The first night that I've had where I've gone out and actually fought mobs. Alright, let's get these saplings sorted, hopefully. Hopefully we get a couple of saplings... I know it can take quite a while, but luckily we've got a decent forest here, and we know that it's here if we uh, want to come back later. There's also more of another Enderman. <laughs> Do I fight him too? Oh. Yep. 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 We've had great luck with Enderman this, just in this area. We may as well make the most of it. Come on. Look at that. Three pearls on our first night that we've actually gone out to fight mobs. That's great. We can definitely take that back and, and store that for later once we go to the nether. And have a couple of eyes of ender right off the bat, which is perfect. Okay. Oh, wow. Perfect, perfect. Okay, eight. That's not bad. It should be enough, hopefully. Hopefully we'll at least, from growing two trees, get enough back to to continue our supply. What I'm going to do is go over here. Since we already have those cows back at home, I'm going to kill these guys. Hopefully get a decent little bit of leather. Uh, I'm 
Sorry, little one. It has to be done. Turn away. Wow, we got really good luck there. That's great. Ah, I see more victims. Eleven. Eleven's not bad. We're going to sort of loop back this direction. Ha ha ha. This is good. The more that we find naturally spawned out this, this way, the less we have to breed up back at ours. Our main base. Oh, amazing. Amazing. Any more? <laughs> Alright, I'm going to start looping back this way. If we find any more along the way, that's great for us. If not, that's okay. We do have the the pair that are back home that we can continue to breed and get the leather that we need. But I think I will just make my way back, looping a little bit to try and see some new landscape. See if there's anything else interesting as I move around. And we'll get back to the island. More cows. Oh, this is great. Oh, that's sad. Nope. You live. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't. Nice. Another village. Ah. <sighs> I might have to come back to this. I my inventory is way too full. So I will. I'm gonna leave and come back and we'll we'll see if there's anything else here. Grab more of these hay bales. Having this compass in the in the hot bar always pointing back, especially in this early game, is very convenient. Without Elytra and, and whatnot as you're exploring and stretching further and further away from your main base it's it's very handy that i can just check that and point myself in the right direction more more victims look at that 33 leather already we only need 45 to get enough bookshelves to make is that more over there it is 45 pieces of leather is enough to make the books for the bookshelves and a full enchanting setup. So, with a bit of luck, we might almost be there by the time we get back home. Oof. Oof. That wasn't bad. We'll get back home, sleep through the night and get rid of this rain. And then see what we got. Huh. <sighs> Alright. Well, we got the trees that we were after. We got the, the saplings to grow more while we're here. And we got a really good amount of leather. So we almost have enough to build a... Huh, actually, we do have enough to build a full enchanting setup. So once we have the obsidian required and a couple of diamonds, only one more because we already do have that one that we did get from a sunken ship, we will be able to set up to enchant pretty much straight away. We'll just need to find some lapis, which we also have. So <laughs> I've basically got everything that I need already. This is great, great. So I don't really want to put, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but I don't want to do a large one of these trees because it will convert all this grass here. So for now, we're just going to set up those individuals and then we'll put a couple of dark oak saplings down. Hopefully we can get some to grow while we're sorting out our food situation. And then we'll go back to that village and, and uh, grab the rest of the hay bales. We're going to have a lot of hay, a lot of um, wheat 
set up so it'll be very easy to breed animals or trade with villagers as we get them back here um, we will eventually want to set up since I found so many villagers it's gonna be great we'll bring them back set up a little trading area and uh, make some emeralds and, and make this a little bit more of a self-sufficient area uh, I would like to probably use this main island as my base that can be for farming animals maybe we'll set up the uh, trading over there as well like our own personal little village and uh, I think we should be able to tie this whole area together I'm already imagining things like bridges over here um, lots of little fun things it's I think it's a good size pair of islands we've got a lot of room to work with but it's not too big it's not daunting so there we go Just like that, we basically have enough paper. I'm not going to use it all, but I will make that much. We do. We have enough paper to make ourselves all of the books that we need. And we can probably use this oak. There we go. And already we have almost an entire en enchanting setup all ready to go. This is, that's great. I'm really happy with how this world has started out. I've got a lot of interesting stuff, a lot of villages, good resources, and this really nice area to to build up a base, have a good playthrough. We're very, very quickly going to run out of storage here, so I would like to set up a base fairly quickly, try and get a, a decently organized little storage area. I'd like to hopefully set up one that can be just expanded and I don't necessarily have to worry about completely changing down the line. But for now, obviously, I don't have the materials. I need to spend a little bit of time gathering some stuff up before I really dig my teeth into building myself a base. So with my inventory empty and a few things sorted out, I'm going to go back to that village, take all their resources as well, completely clear them out, see whether I get any decent trades or find anything interesting over there, and then we'll come right back. I believe, as you can see, that's our island back there. This is actually the spot right near the end of the montage at the start of this video that I did find a second... Uh, Ruined portal. So we do know that we have a couple of those dotted around the landscape, although the one that we have at our base is obviously the ideal situation. Right where we started off, we could probably do something nice as far as decorating it and, and setting that up as our main portal. The only difficulty will be the fact that it's underwater. <laughs> wow, there is just so much wheat. Every village that I found seemed to have an abundance of it. So we're definitely not going to be short of wheat and we have also don't really need to breed up any cows so I don't know what I'm going to use it for other than trading but it's definitely worth grabbing anyway. But we do have a cartographer that we can come back to later if we do want to grab like say maps for an ocean monument or a woodland mansion. I have taken your wheat I will ooh Leave you be. <laughs> uh, oh dear. Treasure map. Ooh, ooh. Two mending leather items. That's... Bit unusual, but break, 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 break. Uh, okay, we're all right. There we go. Uh, nothing too fancy, but we'll take it. Nice. Obviously, not the same one that I found in that montage, which is good. We might be lucky and get a, a little bit more diamonds. That'd be nice. There it is. Ah, uh, no diamond. 
but we'll take what we can get. Okay. Now we can head home. Eh. <laughs> well, with that, I think this is where I'm going to end this episode. I'll probably take a little time off camera and mine up a, a little bit more of a supply of these different types of woods. I think next episode we'll work on making ourselves a little bit more of a permanent base and definitely work out a, a, a larger storage system before, before we run out of space here. Um, I really don't like the idea of having to juggle around different items and throwing stuff away this early on in the game. Um, we can set up a crafting area and such. I think I'd like to build it underneath this area here. I definitely have thought about maybe having a full curving window around the, the bottom half of this island and access with the water where I can drive a boat straight in there. Um, I'll think about it a little bit more while I'm gathering up some resources. Uh, if you did make it this far or stumbled across this video, I'd just like to say thank you. Um, this is something that I've wanted to do for quite a long time, but haven't really... I don't know, I, I haven't had the confidence to do it or thought that I'd be able to do it. A good enough let's play, but with the world as it is at the moment and all this spare time, I think it's good. I th I'm, I'm enjoying it already and I, I would like to continue on with this playthrough and, and make some more videos. So, as I said, if you did stumble across this video, leave a comment. It, constructive criticism is always welcome. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. I... I plan to do plenty more. I don't know whether anyone will even ever stumble across this video, but I'm putting it out there. I'm having fun. I'm recording Minecraft, something that I love to do. Just play this game. <laughs> so until next episode, take care, look after yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Perfect way to end this episode. Help me. <laughs>